What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. So I did a comparison video, Tag 2 to Tekken 7 on Dragunov, I thought that was pretty interesting. I want to do one on the, the Phoenix himself, Paul Phoenix. Uh, he was so tremendously helped by the new system in uh, Tekken 7. The new bound system and the new combo scaling favored this guy like no one else. And it's very interesting to demonstrate this. So, in, in Tag 2, which I have in the background here, combos, as you know, were pretty much limitless. And they tried to balance this by having a very aggressive scaling. So, when you launch someone, immediately with the first initial hits, damage went down to 60%, 50%, heavily reducing the damage of even the first few initial hits of the combo. But in Tekken 7, of course, the, the first two hits uh, after a launch, you see, it, the first hit is 70%. And the second hit is... Um, oh, oh, sorry, it's not the same at the wall. 70 and then 50%. So if the second hit is, for example, a Death Fist, Oh, it's gonna hurt a lot. And you've seen this a million times next to the wall. Bam, bam. The second Death Fist does a shitload of damage. And this isn't exactly the case in Tag 2. The first one, as always, hurts a lot. The second one sees quite a lot of scaling and the damage goes down. More so than in Tekken 7. So the, and usually you will not wall splat when the Death Fist is probably something like this. But so the Death Fist... Uh, was very much favored in the new combo scaling of Tekken 7. But much more importantly is that in, um, in Tag 2, you know, a bound looks like this. Uh, it's so bad, the back one too in this game. Uh, it looks like that, and it's, you can't really do a Death Fist afterwards. And the Death Fist, you know, is one of Paul's hardest hitting moves. So in this game, you would do a Demo Man Ender, but uh, Tekken 7 would, of course, open up for this. And suddenly combos look something like this with the screw system. You have a hundred years to run in and death fist. Does this help Paul a lot in his combos? Yeah, you bet your ass that he can end with the death fist. But even more importantly, yeah, I put counter hits on just to demonstrate this. Even more importantly, just by being able to end with the Death Fist in combos, is the fact that if we do this from a, a slanted angle, uh, apply the Death Fist Ender, Ford Ford 4 is guaranteed. So, it's the same in Tag 2. In Tag 2, if you from the side Death Fist someone mid-combo and do Ford Ford 4, but it's guaranteed for a million damage. But you could never do Death Fist after a bound. You can do it if you're super fast, but it's not reliable. In Tekken 7, with the new system, you're meant to do that. So suddenly the Death Fist, as I said, benefited tremendously from the new scaling in Tekken 7. But the screw system, holy shit. You can always end with it. If you got them sideways, oh, Death Fist into Ford Ford 4. All of this was opened up to become a staple in, uh, in Tekken 7. So the Death Fist alone got an enormous change going from Tag 2 to Tekken 7. Uh, and of course, uh, you have stuff like this. Uh, wait, I want to show you guys in Tag 2. His back forward 1, uh, one of his best evasive tools. You know, dodges a lot into an elbow. Uh, in Tag 2, nothing's guaranteed afterwards. You see how far away they go. Uh, but of course, in, uh, in good old Tekken 7, you get a Death Fist here for 69 damage. I mean, yeah, you, you know how, how much this hurts if you, do, if you get a clean hit. Yeah, that, that's a pretty big deal, uh, I'm gonna have to say. Uh, and then, of course, his back went too uh, tremendously buffed. They actually had to nerf it after Season 1. Season 1 version was crazy, with a guaranteed horrible Oki situation for the opponent trying to stand up. 
but it's completely different as you can see in tag 2. It's his 12 frame punish. It's a bound just like in uh, Tekken 7, but it recovers much slower. Much slower. And here it forces crouch. You get a few plus frames, but n nothing too amazing. Whereas, of course, in, um, in Tekken 7, it's actually a fucking wall splat. So you can apply this after sidestep 3, counter hit, and wall splat. And here, this is at least, with that sp spin around, it's at least plus 8, I think. So th this is an enormous buff to Paul. And, of course, you, you, you see here in Tag 2, the first hit is very linear. Very linear. And this is a character that has trouble with people stepping him. Uh, not so much in... Uh, uh, I mean, he has amazing homing moves, but no homing move that's super fast. So suddenly this 12 frame back one, you see? Circular strike, it was turned into a homing move. Back one two is crazy in Tekken 7 compared to uh, Tag 2. Uh, and then, of course, a new move he got is down back two. He doesn't have this move in um, uh, in uh, in tag two, and it completely changed his uh, his oki. You know now that, that when someone's grounded, you can do this. Completely changed Paul's oki. Uh, it's it's just super strong. Uh, he he really needed that to become really really annoying. Uh, and I even forgot to show back to one. Uh, tremendous addition to Paul. And uh, also uh, a really cool buff. Uh, you probably know his quarter circle forward free. Uh, it's uh, a pretty damn good long range low poke. It's minus 14, but it, it's his key low poke. On counter hit, it trips the opponent. And you get some Oki afterwards, but nothing guaranteed. But yeah, you probably know that in. Tekken 7, if you get a counter hit, you get a free demo man. Not a minor detail. <laughs> uh, and then, um, of course, forward 1 plus 4, and uh, knocks down in, in tag 2. And you, you know this, in Tekken 7, we get a death fist. Uh, and then, uh, oh, the same uh, with down forward 1, 1, 2, uh, knocks down like that, perfectly safe string in Tekken 7, should you get the final hit, you get a death hit. Except I suck. There we go. Uh, and then, this is also interesting, Ford Ford 1, 2 recovers super slowly, it's his wall splat throw. In tag 2 it recovers very, very, very slowly. You can get back 1, 2, but you have to be quite precise here. And this would always fuck up uh, in online matches. Um, to be safe you could just do the shoulder. But it recovers very slowly. This was buffed for Tekken 7 Paul. He recovers super quickly instead, and you can oh, <laughs> YouTube, and we can death fist. I think it's also worth noting how I think the death fist hitbox even was expanded quite a bit. It's much easier to hit people who you knock onto the wall with the death fist. This is actually quite tight in tag two. Uh, okay, not that big. I I think it depends on the character size. Uh, and oh, oh, this this is a massive buff. Uh, th this one was a big... I mean, I've shown you a million game changers now for Paul. Uh, but th this one was also a major one. We're gonna set him to guard. Quarter Circle Ford 1 in Tag 2 has no pushback, as you can see. And it's minus 7. In, in Tekken 7, it's not minus 7. Uh, wait, let's stand guard. It's minus uh, four, I believe. Yeah, minus four, and there's pushback. So the move, move is completely different. It's much easier to set up the bullshit like down for two afterwards or sidestep. At minus seven, you're kind of locked down, especially as you're standing right next to them. 
So one of Paul's like most important tools for Core Circle Ford One got a massive buff in uh, in Tekken Seven. So uh, that was many reasons why Paul is a monster in um, in Tekken Seven compared to to Tag Two. Uh, but there were more things. I'm not going to go into all details, but these were the big ones, and of course, it's it's certainly. Uh, helps having one of the craziest raid charts in the game that is fully yeah, you can cancel it into a combo uh, that is a pretty big deal to say the least I mean Paul in rage you fear him like no other character yeah that certainly helped <laughs> uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video but it was enlightening and I hope you have a nice day Take care.